Alright guys, I'm going to be doing a different video for you guys today. Um, as some of you know, I am an art teacher and an artist. This is one of my most recent drawings that I just finished. I've been really sick lately. And so I've spent a lot of time in doctor's offices and um, lying on the couch and in bed. So I've been able to draw a lot lately and um, without interruption pretty much. So this is my latest work that I just finished. Um, it's called a Zen Doodle, and I did it with markers, Sharpie markers, Sharpie pen, and um, you can see them right there, and I also did it with color pencils. Now, I use a variety of color pencils. Um, I use everything from woodless color pencils, like you see here, to the professional Prismacolors that I really, really like because they have a nice, soft, creamy lead. Um, but I also use some cheaper pencils. I use Crayola pencils, and I also use some of the Rose Art and um, Prang. And they're less expensive. I mean, I even pick them up at the dollar store. I get whatever colors I can get my hands on. But I use all these different pencils because they have different qualities of lead. Okay? Um, I find that the cheaper pencils can keep a really sharp point and can get into the fine detailed places better than, say, uh, a Prismacolor because it has such a soft lead. Now, you can see here, I did this one with circles. I used the lid from a Pringles can and I just drew circles all over and then I filled in each circle. Kind of a mandala type of thing. And I haven't applied color to it yet. I'm going to make copies of it first um, and give my students a chance to color it. Um, I've also done this one and I haven't made copies of that one yet so I'm not going to color it until I've done that. Um, this one I started off with color. I was doing this one at church. It's a, a song that was sung at church one morning and I really enjoyed it so I, I started decorating it and doing it up um, and drawing it. And I'm going to uh, add color to it and more designs and that sort of thing as, as I go along and along. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I do. Um, the blending I have really enjoyed, especially with the Prismacolors. Let me show you some up-close stuff here. Um, I've really enjoyed the patterns and the colors and the shapes and adding value to my color pencil uh, work. It's hard. Um, I say hard. I, I love it. It's very relaxing to me, very calming. But when you want to add value and details and things like that to your drawings, um, and you're blending from one color to another and you're trying to mix these colors and you overlap these colors and you put them down in layers, you can really achieve some nice effects. You get very three-dimensional. Okay? Um, and here you see I blended from a dark blue into a regular blue to a light blue and then I left a white space to kind of give it a three-dimensional look. And then I blended a blue-green on the other side. Both a light and a dark. Um, and you can see where I blended some warm colors together there. I used some yellows and some oranges and some reds. Um, and then over here I did some dark greens and some light greens to kind of give it that three-dimensional effect over there. Kind of look like a dragon's eye or something like that. And then I kind of went with valentine -y colors over here. Um, so I've got a variety of things going on in this particular work and I'm, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Um, you can see a lot of organic shapes, flowers and swirls and things like that. But there's also some geometric shapes with circles and things. Um, so there's a lot going on here. And I really enjoyed doing this piece while I was sick. Um, my students are just finishing up a project with three-dimensional shapes. This one is a pyramid. And I've instructed them to do zentangles and zendoodles on each shape and when we assemble it and put it together you can see where it says glue right there you cut it out and you fold it and you put it together and it turns out looking like a pyramid with all these beautiful colors all around I'm not finished with this one yet but I've got a good start on it so you can kind of see some of the stuff I've got going on um, but I'm not quite finished with it yet I'll probably put my name there in the middle um, this is one I did for my girls uh, Wednesday night in my GA's class. I let them color that after I drew it. 
So I do a lot of coloring sheets and things like that that my students and my kids will really enjoy. Um, and you can start with something as simple as a pack, a 12 pack of Crayola uh, color pencils and a Sharpie pen or a Sharpie marker. That's what I usually start with. I, I generally carry those uh, things in my pocketbook. Um, and I usually have a little 50 cent um, pencil sharpener that I use um, in my purse or I'll carry an extra little bag with my clipboard and stuff in it. There's my clipboard. I got it for like a dollar or 50 cents or something like that. At, um, I think it was Fred's. And I really like the flat top to it because it fits very nicely in my purse or in my bag. Um, if you don't have access to expensive cardstock, you can use the thinner paper, but your marker tends to bleed through there. So another option is using these index cards. You can flip them over on the back. You can even cut them in half and use them as trading cards. But these small index cards and the big index cards, the 4x6s, also work um, really well for doing this. You can use the blank ones or you can just flip them over and use the back side. Um, and I've been experimenting a little bit with using baby oil. And I haven't gotten to use this alcohol blending solution yet, but I'm going to try this out when I... Um, start using some of my markers. I had these left over from college. They're really expensive uh, markers, but they're Prismacolors. They're really nice for blending. So I'm going to try doing some of that on some of my upcoming projects and I'll let you know how that turns out. But I'm, I'm really having fun with the Zen Doodles and the Zen Tangles. And if you want to look at more of my stuff, you can go to artsonia.com and look under Equipment Elementary. Um, that's the school that I teach at and you can see all kinds of artwork that our students have done. So I hope you enjoy. If you want to subscribe, you're welcome to do so. I have over, um, I have a couple of thousand artworks on Artsonia.com so you can look at all kinds of, of artworks that my students and stuff have done over the years, the last eight years. Um, and a few of my pieces are on there too, but I'll be uploading my Zen Doodles and my Zen Tangles very soon on there so you can see some of those also. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, have fun. Do some doodling. Do some drawing. Relax with it. If it stresses you out, don't do it. If it relaxes you and makes you feel calm and at ease, then it might be a good hobby for you to pick up. Something to do kind of meditative, you know, just calming thing for you to do. And I really enjoy it. It's kind of my reward for making it through the day kind of thing that I do in the af in the evenings after the kids are tucked in bed and they are uh, going to sleep and I can sit back and watch a couple YouTube videos and just color and draw. So I really enjoy it. But, um... This is A. Crosby 74, signing off.